Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how to screen mirror, wirelessly screen mirror your Samsung Galaxy S5 and above as well as some of the Galaxy Note phones directly to your Roku Ultra device. So very, very simple here, okay? Now the first thing I want to mention is in regard to the connection. With this uh, wireless screen mirror connection, the connection has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network if you guys are familiar like a Google Chromecast, okay? This is a Miracast Wi-Fi Direct from the phone directly to your Roku Ultra device, okay? So you can see I have it connected right now. And you can see there's a little bit of lag right now. I'm not sure, but I think if I restart my uh, my phone, it'll be a little bit faster. But anyway, let me show you how to connect. Okay, so first thing, it doesn't matter where you are on your Roku device, on the TV. It doesn't matter where you are. Just simply go ahead and grab your phone. Make sure your TV is on. Grab your Samsung Galaxy uh, phone. And then you want to swipe down notifications. Go ahead and swipe down. And then you want to go ahead and swipe down again. Okay, swipe down again. And then you have a bunch of other uh, apps on here, a bunch of other icons. Now, what you simply want to look for is Smart View. Okay, if it's not on here, swipe over. My Smart View is right here. As you can see now, I think the Samsung Galaxy S5, I think they still call it screen mirror. They don't call it actually smart view. Anyway, I see smart view here. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And let's see if it finds my Roku Ultra, which it does. And you can see it right here. So let's tap on that. You get a message here. Start mirroring with smart view. Tap on start now. And let's give it one second here. And we should get a message on the uh, bottom of the TV here. As you can see right here, uh, Galaxy S21, would you like to cast video to your TV? Go ahead and click on allow or always allow. So we're going to click on allow and then uh, hold this up and give it one second. And voila, you can see that we're in business and this will uh, disappear in one second. But you can see that we're mirroring here. And this is great for uh, showing, um, you know, your photos and videos stored locally on the phone to the big screen to show your family and friends. Also, if you have work documents and whatnot, let me show you a quick um, video and a um, photo as well. So here's a photo here. Let me turn it over. Of course, you can zoom in and out as well. So you can see there. And then let me play a quick video here. And I want to hear where the audio comes out from. So here's a video here. Let's press on play. Check one, two. Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now you heard the audio is actually coming out from the TV, but you can also make the audio come out from your Galaxy phone as well. Simply, if we go back down to notifications, if we go down and then go ahead and go down notifications, and then right here, you can see under smart things, this audio output. So if I tap on this down arrow, you can see right now it's uh, checked on Roku Ultra, but if I go down to my phone, Galaxy S21, let's tap on that. Now, if I go back to the video, Let's play this video again. Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now the now the audio is coming out from my phone. Okay, and if you guys want to go ahead and disconnect, you can go ahead and simply just swipe down the notifications again, swipe down again, and before it said Smart View or Screen Mirror, now it says the name of your uh, device you're connected to, which is my Roku Ultra. I can tap on that and disconnect, or you have a little floaty thing, little floaty icon here. We can also tap on that right there. And then from here, we can go ahead and disconnect. And oh, yes, and this little floaty thing, too, you can also change your phone aspect ratio as well. So we'll just go ahead and disconnect like that. And there you go. Questions or issues, uh, comment below. Good luck.